checking out the Tick Watch Pro. Um, I got this about two and a half days ago, and this is my third GPS test with it. Um, I'm testing it against the Garmin Phoenix 5S. You can see that. Um, let's see the distance on here. It's saying 0.26 miles. Uh, this is also saying 0.26 miles. Let me get that the screen so you can see it. Heart rate 111. Heart rate, right, where's that at? Uh, 105. Um, there's a little bit of delay on this top screen here. So let me go to the bottom screen. 111. Okay, still saying 111. Oh, it's on pause. Okay, that's why it's stuck on that. So let's get moving. Um, but yeah, this is the Tick Watch Pro. This is the newest watch from Mobvoi. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Uh, but this is the third Tick Watch I've owned. Um, I started out with the Tick Watch 2. Um, that was really the first smartwatch I owned, um, and that's kind of what started it all, my interest in them. Uh, and then I went on to the TicWatch E, I think, when did that come out? Late last year? Um, and now we got the TicWatch Pro, and this is kind of their flagship uh, model, I guess you want to call it the more premium model. Um, and it does have that dual layer technology, so it's, you've got the top LCD screen uh, that is um, very energy efficient, um, uses very little battery, um, and then you have the bottom screen, which is your... The OLED screen, AMOLED screen, uh, the full color, the one that you're used to. And I'm just out here. This is a memorial to uh, for the Civil War. Soldiers in the Civil War from Decatur, Illinois, or Macon County. It's probably Macon County. And I think somebody's behind me. What was that? Oh, it was a squirrel. <laughs> I always feel weird out here talking to myself. Uh, but let me go up here and talk a little bit about this. Um, it's been testing out really good for me. Uh, like I said, this is the third GPS test I've done and uh, against the Phoenix 5S. And it's pretty much identical, I mean, in terms of the distance estimate and the heart rate uh, sensor. They are pretty much the same. Uh, there's very little difference between the two. And the Phoenix 5S, this is a watch I've had for a while. And uh, if you've watched any of my reviews or read any of them, you know, I uh, usually uh, compare this watch to the other ones that I'm reviewing because this one I know it's pretty darn accurate. Um, there's no watch that's 100% accurate, but I know this one is pretty darn good. So that's why I use it to test against other ones. And there it is. And this is a large watch. Um, yeah, it's what, 45 millimeters in diameter. And the screen itself is like 1.39 inches across. Uh, so it is a large screen. I don't know what the screen is made of. I haven't found that information, uh, but I would recommend getting a screen protector because I don't know what it's made of. I don't know how durable it is. And then it's just such a large screen. It'd be really easy to bang it up against something and damage it. So better safe than sorry. But otherwise, I mean, everything's working fine on it so far. Um, uh, it hasn't really been very glitchy or anything. Um, I've been getting my notifications. Bluetooth has been uh, staying connected and being strong. Uh, battery life has been good. GPS has been good. Heart rate good. So far, so good. Um, I'll be doing a full review on this uh, in a couple weeks, and I'm going to show you all the, the neat things that this can do. It's got, of course, Google Maps, Google Assistant, uh, some of my favorite Wear OS apps, and I'll show you how all of that works and how well it works, and just more of my experiences with this in a couple weeks. So, uh, so far, yeah, like I said, so far so good. I can recommend at least right now, um, unless something changes. Uh, if you're really interested in this, um, yeah, I, I would recommend it right now. Um, <laughs> we'll see in a couple weeks. Uh, so come back and I will see you then. Uh, this is again the Tick Watch Pro.